What's up everybody, it's Smunchy Goofy, and today I'm going to be talking about top 5 things I want to speak to and do, so let's get into this. Number 5, I would like Nintendo let us vote, vote for the different courses and like, different maps that we get to fight in. Similar to like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Battle Courses, or like say, the racing tracks, I would like to be able to vote, I think that would be pretty cool. And yeah, also, little side thing, uh, the old ones, and then like, the other ones. I personally like Joey's design in 5 better than 6, just want to put that, and then the Inklings as well. But next, new modes. I would like there to be new modes, because, you know, when it tends to come, long story short, the FPS genre tends to be kind of similar when it comes to the next entry in the game, so that that's kind of how it tends to be. So I hope Splatoon 3 continues to be creative and, you know, unique and more fun. So, in Splatoon 2, we had 8 modes. Octo Canyon, regular battle, Turf, and two, yeah, Turf War. There was Salmon 1, and there was the ranked battle zones with their own objectives. The Splatfest League Battle Private Mode, and if you want to count it, Octo Expansion as the paid DLC. And I enjoyed this. I hope that in Splatoon 3, that there's even more modes, or maybe take out some modes to introduce new modes, make it more unique and, you know, really cool. I would also say that, you know, I think adding upon, like, what you already have is also creative and cool, so they could do that as well. And maybe let us pick specific modes? Hmm. Because, overall, I think these modes are fun and challenging. But if we have like even more modes and take away some modes of Splatoon 2, say, I think that would be more, you know, fun and creative and unique. And I, I would like that. The next thing I would like to talk about is Octo Expansion as the story, you know, like the base story. And for example, I love the Octo Expansion. So that as the story mode, not a separate DLC, would have been, you know, would be really cool. Maybe have a continuation of the Octo Expansion I was invested in, like, the last, you know, this, when I was, um, still new and fresh, I've been playing this one for, you know, since it's launched, it's a fun game to keep going back and having fun. So, overall, I hope that they bring this one back, and maybe this time have Agent 3 and multiplayer free complete Octo Expansion, or the story mode, because it, you know, this character, Agent 3, she was only for the story mode, like the Octo Expansion, so having to play her, or play an asshole, would be really cool and amazing. The next thing I would like to talk about is the ranked battle or multiplayer. If you, you know, I think you know when it comes down to multiplayer games, people should work as a team. People should be there with each other, be helping with objective, especially in like for example, the league battles, you know, or like the ranked battles. And what I've noticed is many time, many times, um, many teammates would just Say, say for example, I'm playing Raid Battle. We're playing a specific um, mode, right? One of those uh, objectives, I meant. And then you're over there, you trying to get, like, say, one of them is, like, um, get, like, a big fish that shoots. I forget the specific name, so sorry about that. But you could use that fish to shoot, and then it creates, like, a huge explosion. And you, the objective is to get that piece of golden fish to the other side and then on their side and then you get to win that's how you win and many times i see people just going out shooting and just killing them if you want to just be shooting and this and that go to the regular battle you know i think that's something you would like even more but like don't get me wrong you know everyone has their own unique way to play i don't have that you know i mean i um i don't want to take that away from you you know, but my point is, if you won't be playing a specific mode or objective, then you should pitch in. You know, you should you know, give some aid, some help, because we are a team after all. And, you know, usually I see like maybe me and two other people are just there. And then maybe the rare occasion when everyone's, you know, just going in, we do the objective. And that's even more fun and cool. Also, another thing that Splatoon 2 relating to this uh objectives and all that is that a lot of times they say if me and the other people the few people that i've played with are the only ones doing the objective in the end of the game you just see you know the number you know the rankings come in and all that i think 
and I don't think this is bad to say, the people who actually do the objective and actually, you know, staying with the dude when he's delivering the object, you know, doing the objective of the game, people that's doing the objective should get more XP or extra points towards their ranking than the people who's just out there shooting and killing. Unless they're shooting and killing nearby the objective, like defending the dude or the girl who's actually going and doing, you know, playing the actual objective. I think, you know, something like that would be cool. So the next point I would like to talk about is more of an honorable mention, like I said. Not part of this list. And I think this is more of a side thing, not related. So, yeah. um, This looks cool. You know, look, this is going to be the bundle of Splatoon 3. This is the Pro Controller. This is the Joy Cons and all that. I have an issue. You know, let's be honest. This is the gaming industry. Many things, when things are rare, they tend to be scalped and, uh, you know, people overpriced and stuff like this. And that. I don't need to explain. We gamers know what I'm talking about. Nintendo, please have a, like a one year availability for all this stuff. Also, look, this is cool and all, but this, if this paint, all this design artwork was here, I would have been way better because this kind of looks basic. I'm sorry if you're a fan of this. At least have this blue right here because I would like to get this control, you know, but I don't know, man. It just kind of seems a little bit basic compared to, like, say, other pro controls of other, like, um, you know, special editions. What I can say also is I hope that they sell the this like the holder and the pro control separately because I would buy this. Yeah, if I see this sold separately, the controller and this uh piece, I would buy this day one. So it looks wonderful. So overall, wonderful collection. I'm loving it. It's really cool. And number one thing I would like to talk about is Stone Cone C. Now I'm gonna make this one quick. Long story short, Nintendo a lot of times when I try to go into store and this and that it feels like there was mostly the same things over and over. It kind of feels like they updated it every, correct me if I'm wrong, but every week or two. And it kind of was like, mm, okay. So what I was thinking is that, number one, Nintendo should let us sell our items that we get from the store or something else. You know, in a way, as a way to get even more money to buy more things in the store. Number two, we should be more creative, Nintendo. Have different costumes and cosplays like this. Or, you know, we could have, like, the Pikachu team versus the, you know, NES team, Mario versus Link team, or the Legend of Zelda, you know, team. Sam, the Metroid team versus Star Fox team, etc., etc. You know, we could do that. You know, unique costumes based on other Nintendo IPs or something cool and unique, Pikachu team. And, you know, have like a hub world. We get to walk in, there's no loading, and then you get to go through ILC, and, and then we get to buy like that. Really cool, something like this. I think these things will be really cool and interesting for Nintendo to put in their game. Because overall, it will be like something like, wow, something, you know, really um, creative and just overall cool. So, with that being that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments what you would like. Tell me in the comments what you think about, you know, what I talked about today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, bye.